Ah, it's finally time. It's finally time. Hello everyone, this is Keith, and I am extremely excited for 2016 to come around. 2015 has been an interesting year to say the least, but I feel like I definitely allowed myself to be super lazy. <laughs> and But you know, that's also a value. I think that there's a huge value in not doing anything. In 2014, I was a vegan. I accomplished a lot of goals that I... Um, set out for the year to be, and I want to do the same thing for 2016. I love New Year's. I love uh, New Year's resolutions. They work for me. Uh, they give me some sort of motivation and like kind of like a reflection on what I've accomplished and what I've done the previous year and what I can do in the future. Um, there are some things that I have regretted in 2015. For instance, you know, reaching the maximum limit on my credit cards. But you know, the 2016 is a brand new year and I'm very, very motivated to um, do a bunch of fun, different things. One of my goals is social media in general. Like I want to have a larger presence in social media. Uh, I want to use Facebook less often. I want to do more YouTube videos, probably vlogs, just so I could document my life. I think that would be pretty cool. And then I also want to use Instagram more. I think Instagram is amazing. Somebody that I've met in the past said that Instagram is one of the more positive uh, social media influences because there's little like exchanges between each other. It's more just like beautiful pictures, uh, pictures of people and very supportive comments. So I really, really like that aspect of um, Instagram. I want to have more consistent tweets. Uh, I also want to figure out what my Twitter should be about because um, it could be about me, but I don't really find myself to be that interesting. So maybe something else. Something else is that I also want to uh, be more fit. I mean, I was not vegan this year at all. And I also just kind of like flubbed off of not doing MMA as much as I used to. And so I just really just been eating a lot of food and not working out at all. Uh, I currently have two gym memberships. In the past two months, I have not gone to either gym. So I need to utilize that since I'm already putting my money towards that area. And I also need to start, hopefully, eating better. I don't know if I'm going to do the vegan thing. I think I want to, but I'm also open to experiencing new diets. Another element of my... I guess goals is to be more frugal and to be more smart with how I spend money because I would just buy things for for like you know I'm on this earth only once and I need to get what I want now uh, but now that like my resources are exhausted I have to be really really smart I have to start paying back my credit card um, I have to start uh, saving money I'm also helping my parents finally like uh, pay some of the bills so um, it's a lot of uh, growing experience I'm gonna have to do really really fast as well. Yeah, I might get a second job, but I also have to think about if that's going to be the right thing for me. Like, I need my free time, I need time to decompress and just uh, get away for a little bit. I'm also really into video games now, like I really want to get better at Super Smash Bros. 4. Uh, I can see, I've been like really inspired by a lot of the competitive games that I've seen online. Uh, something else that I love is online reality games. Uh, I was a host of Big Brother Basics. It was really, really fun to host, and I'm putting together episodes. So uh, that's another little project I'm doing. Uh, you can go to the Big Brother Basics YouTube channel, and there's some uh, Big Brother footage there that I'm really, really proud of. I mentioned MMA. I love mixed martial arts. MMA is one of the few sports I actually follow. Uh, my role model right now is Ronda Rousey, the ex-UFC Bantamweight Champion. Uh, she recently lost to Holly Holm, but she's gonna come back, she's gonna be better than ever. Uh, currently I work uh, at a university, but I'm also kind of like juggling, do I want to stay in the field of higher education and student affairs, should I leave? And a lot of it really is for like safety reasons, like I don't really feel as safe on a campus and university as I did in the past. Uh, it seems like universities are constantly being targeted now for no reason. It's no, no longer a safe place for education. It's just become like a violent political statement maker for people with different agendas. And I really can't stand that aspect of higher education anymore. And I think that the United States needs to step up and do something about it. Recently, another reason why I'm starting this YouTube channel, one of my best friends got me this GoPro camera. And so I want to do some active hiking adventures River White Route, <laughs> White, ri wait, what is it? White Rapids, ri White Rapid, White River Rapid, River White Rapid, White. <laughs> Just some outdoor activities. I really like. I'm motivated to get a mountain bike. Uh, 
last year in Washington DC my bike got stolen but that was also because I didn't put a lock on it so yeah I want to get like another mountain bike find some trails do some jogging perhaps do a triathlon that was another goal I have so there's a bunch of ideas in my head and I just want to accomplish them all but I need to put them here in this video so I can remind myself hey I want to take care of this I recently got a uh, planner for um, this coming year and hopefully I can do my goal of having, you know, one Instagram picture every single week on my social media account because right now, the last post I think is from 2014, do a YouTube video every single week, finish my um, season of uh, Big Brother, uh, Big Brother Basics, and have all the episodes finished so I can start the next season. And yeah, that's kind of some of my goals for 2016. And uh, also just figuring out what I want to do with my life, you know, like I feel like I'm 25 now. I feel like I've done some things that, uh, you know, like I've, I've accomplished some things, but I'm not sure if I accomplished what I really want to accomplish. And I don't know what I want to accomplish yet, which gives me all the desires in the world to figure out what I want to do and uh, not waste a lot of time. I firmly believe I'm not going to live until 100. <laughs> so this might be my midlife, like I might die at 50. And what am I going to do with the next 25 years if I'm not even sure what I've accomplished in the first 25? So I need to start figuring out what I want to do and uh, doing it. Uh, I think this year, 2016, is going to be really, really great. And I'm glad that I'm going to have it documented. Something else that really was magical this past year uh, one of the blessings was that uh, my niece, Kiyomi, was born and uh, honestly that looking into her and like seeing my sister being a mother for the first time and my brother-in-law being the best like parents possible towards this creature that they've created is just really overwhelming. I'm like, wow, this is an amazing gift. And I think 2015 was great, like I needed a break, I just finished my master's degree. Uh, that was two years of like hell <laughs> because I didn't really like Pennsylvania but um, yeah the master's degree is accomplished I got my full-time job after a summer of stress not knowing where I'm gonna work um, and now that I have my life together I have this year I mean I'm gonna be in this Richardson Texas for the next 12 months because that's what my lease is and so I need to like start doing something with it uh, if I'm gonna be in Richardson Texas I need to start accomplishing some of my goals and I'm single like I don't have any commitments other to other than to myself so i kind of owe myself to like do some things that are great uh until i get tied down <laughs> so we'll see if that after happens but yeah i'm really really excited about this uh this is a really big goal of mine to start this youtube channel and to figure out what i want to do with my life come along with the adventure it should be really really basic so enjoy my name's keith have a good day